So, as a butler, you are correctly expected to taste the wine, to make sure the wine is of good quality before you serve it. Okay, so what are we actually looking for when we're trying to see if this wine's okay? So it's four simple things. Color, clarity, taste, and smell. And these are the things that we need to sort of check off as we're making sure the wine's okay. Is it a beautiful color that you're expecting it to be? Is it a lovely red color or is it got a tawny color? Okay, is it nice and clear or is it cloudy? And does it smell good? Does it smell like fruit? Does it smell like wine? I'll give you a bit more information about what to look for at the end of the video. So, what happens if the wine is not of good quality? What happens if the wine is corked, if the wine is off, if the wine is not as expected? What do you do? Well, this is actually what happened to me very recently. So I was serving a, a bottle of wine, a value of approximately, I don't know, 800 to 1,000 pounds, something like that. Correctly, I decanted it. I tasted it. It was disgusting. It was like a mixture of vinegar mixed with soil. Completely corked, unquestionably corked. So what did I do? Well, there's only one thing you can do. You have to discreetly go to the host or more correctly, go to the person who is supplying the wine. Because sometimes the wine might be being supplied by a guest of the host. And what you really want to do is you must make sure you do not embarrass the person who is providing the wine. So the last thing you want to do is tell other people, you don't want to tell the whole room that the wine's corked. Because if this person has provided it, they might be embarrassed by that. So what you need to do is discreetly go to them with a taste of the wine, just so no one notices, and just say, look, I'm terribly sorry to tell you this, sir, I'm terribly sorry to disturb you, but I believe the wine is corked. Would sir like to try it, or would madam like to try it? Of course, it can be quite nerve-wracking. You know, if you've got to tell someone that wine that could be might be 1,000, might be 10,000, it could be 100,000 pounds worth of wine that you're coming to a client to tell them that it's cork, tell them that it's no good. It can be nerve-wracking to do that. But I can tell you one thing, 100%, you're much better off doing that than you are serving it to his or her guests and them saying to the host or the person who's bought the wine, the wine's no good, because that really is embarrassing. But of course it's not really about money, it's about the experience of the guest. It's about making sure that they're served the highest quality product. So always test the wine first. You'll probably know, well you'd certainly know if it was very corks just by the smell. If something's just gone over, just not, not at its best anymore, you would only get that really through the palate. You'd only really get that through tasting. You wouldn't get that through the smell necessarily, you might do. You also have to be careful because sometimes there's a thing called cork stink, which is just as you open a bottle, sometimes you get a little waft of bad air, you know, bad eggs, bad smell from the wine that might imply it's corked. But actually, once it's decanted, it's just that tiny little capsule of air right at the top and the actual wine is just fine. So again, really have to taste it. You don't have to swallow it. To taste the wine, you know, if you're thinking, well, I wouldn't want to actually swallow the wine, you know, you can taste it in your mouth and spit it out um, to uh, still taste the wine sufficiently to know if it's okay. Okay, so what do we need to look out for when we're looking at off wine? So the first thing we have is corked wine. Corked wine is basically wine that has, to want of a better way described it, gone mouldy, gone off. So it's going to smell a bit like vegetables that have been around for too long, or wet paper, or wet dog, something like that. Then we've got oxidised wine. Now what we have there is, uh, it basically turns to vinegar. It literally has that vinegar smell, that vinegar taste. You certainly wouldn't want to drink a glass of it. Then we have the one that, you, to be honest, you don't see this very often in the UK for obvious reasons, because it's not that warm, but that's cooked wine. So that's wine that's like been left out in the sun and has gone off due to heat. Right, so that's it. A nice, simple 
short one today. What do you do if you're going to serve wine and you find out it's corked? <laughs>